The Shakespeare Authorship Controversy, presented by Mark Baker Sanchez. Who really wrote the works of Shakespeare? Tradition proclaims the author was a man born in Stratford-upon-Avon, and with no proof of education, wrote the most erudite literature known to the world. There is much debate between those who believe and do not believe William Shakespeare was the true author of the works attributed to him. The arguments between these groups, Stratfordians and anti-Stratfordians, are largely based on the lack of evidence of Shakespeare's upbringing and education. This lack of evidence is used by anti-Stratfordians to support their theories against Shakespeare's authorship. However, Stratfordians argue that evidence insufficiency does not mean Shakespeare did not write Shakespeare. For centuries, scholars have pondered whether or not one man, but instead a collaboration between two different men, were responsible for the most famous works of Elizabethan England. Anti-Stratfordians argue against the likelihood a man who only obtained modest education and was born to possibly illiterate parents could have written such scholarly works. Aside from being a man of business, Shakespeare's father, John, held official positions of alderman and bailiff. Some believe the civic duties in which John carried out required basic literacy. However, he always used a mark for his signature. Shakespeare's mother, Mary, lacked education and there is no evidence she could sign her name. Shakespeare was born in Stratford-upon-Avon but no existing records of his birth have raised the question whether he even existed. Since it was mandatory at the time children be baptized on the nearest Sunday or holy day following their birth, Shakespeare's birth is believed to have been on or near April 23rd of 1564. No student rosters of the time exist, so there is no documentation proving whether Shakespeare attended school. It is believed he was removed from school when his father fell into financial difficulty. Not much is known of Shakespeare's personal life this being taken as circumstantial evidence by Andy Stratfordians against his authorship. For seven years, there are no existing records of Shakespeare's life, this period known as the Lost Years. The Oxfordians argue Edward de Vere, 17th Earl of Oxford, holds true authorship of the works traditionally attributed to Shakespeare. Oxford is the principal anti stratfordian candidate. His high education from the Cambridge and Oxford colleges Extensive travel and fluency in foreign languages is used as evidence by Oxfordians that Oxford potentially wrote these works. In his 1921 edition of De Vere's Poetry, J. Thomas Looney, founder of the Oxfordian theory, suggests Oxford wrote and published under many pseudonyms, including those of Arthur Golding, Anthony Munday, and John Lilly. Mainstream academics argues the Oxfordian theory is based on pure snobbery implying anti stratfordians only believed someone of aristocracy could have composed the diverse knowledge presented in the works attributed to Shakespeare. The Baconians argue Sir Francis Bacon holds true authorship of the works traditionally attributed to Shakespeare. Bacon was the first alternative candidate suggested to be the author of Shakespeare's plays. Bacon was vastly intelligent, entering Cambridge University at the age of 12. There are existing similarities in philosophical and schematic thought between both Bacon and Shakespeare. In Hamlet, Shakespeare indicates a belief in the moon controlling the tides. This same belief, also indicated by Bacon, was expressed in his earlier writings before that of Hamlet. Certain lines of Shakespeare's plays are very similar to those found in Bacon's series of entries called The Promise of Formularies and Elegancies. For example, A Fool's Bolt is Soon Shot, appears in both Promise and Shakespeare's Henry V. Bacon lived long enough to have held authorship of everything in the first folio. The Marlovians argue Christopher Marlowe holds true authorship of the works traditionally attributed to Shakespeare. Due to his mysterious activities and highly suspicious murder, Marlowe has come to be known as the Stealth Candidate. He was a bright student at Cambridge, and given his proficiency as a scholar, Marlovians associate him with the authorship of the diverse subjects reflected in the Shakespeare canon. Marlowe and Shakespeare were rival playwrights, and in many instances, Shakespeare's expression is so similar to Marlowe's it is difficult to conclude whether the lines were plagiarized, produced as part of a collaboration, or whether they were the same person. The lines of Marlowe's The Passionate Shepherd to His Love and Shakespeare's Merry Wives of Windsor are examples of this extreme similarity. Marlowe was a government spy. However, he was arrested on the charges of heresy. He was supposedly stabbed to death by Ingram Freezer. Whether the stabbing is in connection to his arrest has never been resolved. Was Marlowe dead and buried, or was his death staged? The Marlovians have proposed a faked death theory, 
which suggests Marlowe may have been writing even after his, quote, death. The public would see it as inappropriate if those who were distinguished were known to be writing plays. A conspiracy to conceal identity would be a way around this. Shakespeare's plays seem to involve more than one playwright because of the diverse philosophy and extensive vocabulary presented in his works. The uneven quality and mood of the sonnets attributed to Shakespeare suggests they are either the work of one individual who changes moods or instead a collaboration between different co-authors. Despite who Shakespeare was or who he may have been, the plays and poems attributed to him were well respected and continue to be today. The lack of documentation of Shakespeare's life and education is still debated as evidence whether he held authorship of the works attributed to him or not. The identity of the authentic author who wrote the Shakespeare canon may continually remain a mystery. Up to this time, many scholars contemplate whether the true author of the most famous works of Elizabethan England was perhaps the man from Stratford-upon-Avon, William Shakespeare. <laughs>